Good day everyone! Today we will learn about nationalism. Nationalism is defined the ideology based on the premise that the individual's loyalty and devotion to the nation state surpass other individual or group interests. Now let's look at how nationalism was manifested or expressed in different nations. Let's start with Russia. Nationalism was expressed in Russia through the promotion of culture and language, especially during the term of Alexander III. The downside of extreme nationalism is the discrimination of other people up to the point of killing them, such as the pogroms. Pogroms were considered as violent attacks against the Jews and other nationalities residing in Russia. Another manifestation of nationalism in Russia was the revolutionary movement. When Nicholas II became Tsar of Russia, he maintained autocratic rule and worked towards the industrialization of Russia. However, this led to more problems like poor working conditions, low wages, and child labor. More and more people became dissatisfied with how the Tsar was handling these problems, leading to more revolutionary movements. Following the views of Karl Marx, revolutionaries wanted the workers or the proletariat to rule the country. Two groups of revolutionaries were formed, the Mensheviks and the Bolsheviks led by Lenin. The people of Russia were attracted by Lenin and the Bolsheviks' slogan, Bread, Peace, and Land. When the Bolsheviks were in power, they allowed workers to rule over the factories and sign the truce with Germany. In 1918, Russia gave up a large part of its territory to Germany and its allies. These terms angered many Russians that led to civil wars. Lenin tried to restore order through the new economic policy, wherein surplus crops were not turned over to the government. Instead, peasants could sell these crops. The government controlled major industries such as banks, but allowed private ownership of small factories and businesses. Lenin saw nationalism as a threat to party loyalty. Thus, he divided Russia into self-governing -gover republics under the central government and changed the country's name to Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or USSR. The group of the Bolsheviks were renamed as Communist Party that held all the power contrary to the ideas of Marx of having a dictatorship of a proletariat. Nationalism was also expressed in China through the creation of the Kuomintang, or the Nationalist Party of China. This aimed to overthrow the last emperor of the Qing Dynasty, who was viewed as incompetent because of his failure to eradicate foreign control over mainland China. After the First World War, China expected that the Allies would agree to return to them the territories conquered by Germany. However, the territories were turned over to Japan. These pushed the desire of the people to have reforms and political transformations which led to the May 4th Movement. The people of China later on established the Chinese Communist Party with Mao Zedong as one of its founders. Now let's go to India. India gave resources and manpower for the military of Britain during the First World War and Britain promised that India will be given more freedom to govern their own land. However, this promise was not fulfilled. This united the people of India to fight for their freedom. Nationalist movements in India were led by Mohandas Gandhi. Unlike the revolutions done by nationalists in other countries, Gandhi fought through civil disobedience, which meant deliberate refusal to obey unjust laws. Gandhi encouraged Indians to make their own clothing and refused to buy British-made goods. Gandhi also led the Salt March as a form of protest against the high tax on the sale of salt. Other nationalist movements also occurred in other parts of the world to overthrow incompetent leaders, to ask for reforms, and to fight for independence. Okay, see you Let's next time!